All right, this all started when I was learning a little bit of machine learning. I was pretty easily able to make a model that was able to identify circles, triangles, squares, stars, promises, lines, stick figures, the letter A, and of course, the Mona Lisa. This got me wondering, if I was able to easily identify these shapes, could I just train a model to identify when my crosshair is over a target and then have it click for me in, say, an aim trainer or maybe a game like Valorant or CSGO? So that's exactly what I did. This model is actually pretty simple. So all it does is it looks at the middle 150 pixels of the screen. Then it uses the color data of those pixels as the input for the model. Then it determines if that input is on target or off target. And it gives me an output of either one or zero. So first I had to t train the model and tell it what was off target. Basically what I did is I just you know, randomly moved my mouse around on the background image where there weren't any targets. To make sure the model doesn't just see red and think that it's on target, I had to trace closely around the outside of the circle and tell it that this was still off target. Then to determine what was on target, I moved my crosshair onto the inside and did the same thing. This didn't initially work. On the first version, it was only able to identify the target when it was completely on the center, despite the training data showing edge cases. So all I had to do was tweak some settings, and then it started working. When I start going a little too fast, it still does sometimes miss. I'm pretty sure this isn't because of any errors with the model, but just because of the low frame rate of the window capture that I'm using. The next step would be to train this model on a game like Valorant or CSGO. However, I don't really want to get myself banned from either of those games for cheating, so instead I'm going to go over to Roblox. I was hoping one of these popular Roblox shooter games would have something like a custom game or a practice area where I could train the model on a stationary target like I was in the aim trainer. Unfortunately, pretty much every game either entirely doesn't have this feature or it's locked behind a paywall. At this point, I was starting to think that this project was going to be completely impossible. That was until I was playing yeah, Phantom I Forces Joker, with some of my friends. Yeah, we know. We heard. Yeah. It may not have been possible to spend the time to train the model on the heads of players, However, in Phantom Forces, there's an attachment called the Ballistics Tracker. So what this does is it shows this little diamond where you're supposed to aim to account for bullet drop. Now, since this image is always exactly the same color and scale, I should just be able to search for this image on my screen. So to really quickly test to see if this was possible, I used something called the Hue Circles algorithm in the Aim Trainer so that I could identify where on my screen the targets were. And since I already know where they are, I figured I might as well go the extra step and make an aim bot as well. So for the most part, it seems to work actually pretty well. However, as you can see right there, sometimes when the crosshair gets over the target, it can no longer identify that it's a circle and so it starts going to a different target instead. When I tried implementing this in Phantom Forces, it didn't really work out the best. There was a lot of shapes that it ended up identifying in images of the game, and it didn't even correctly identify the diamond that I wanted it to aim at. I tried a lot of different things to get this to work. I tried masking out everything that wasn't the exact color of the diamond, I tried making it only select that specific shape. Uh, I was going to make it only select things that were the exact area of the diamond, but none of this really ended up working out, so I had to find a completely different solution instead. What I ended up doing is a technique called image templating. Essentially how it works is you take your target image and you drag it across the image you're searching for it in 
and look for a match. And then once you find one, that's exactly where it is. So what this ends up giving you is this black and white map of the image. And the bright spot there is the uh, point with the highest match with the template image that I'm searching for. So if I put a box around that, then I can see exactly where the original image is. The next major issue with this is that previously, I was kind of just guessing what the conversion rate between pixels on the screen and angles moved in game was for moving the mouse. And because of this, I couldn't just move the mouse to the target and then immediately click. I had to move it in increments up until I could detect that it was on top of the target. The only issue with this is when the crosshair is directly on top of the target, image templating is not going to be able to identify it accurately. So what I had to do was actually figure out, for real, what the conversion rate was. Once I figured it out, I tested it out with the original Hue Circles Aim Trainer aimbot. So that test was incredibly promising. That aimbot looks incredibly just inhuman. So I was pretty excited to try it out in game and own some legitimate, unfortunate legitimate players. I, I, I had to kill like eight of your other teammates before I could actually get to your head because you were the he only died. one doing the head trick. Now he died. Here, here, let me show my aim lapse clips. Do you have a. Where am I getting shot from? No. Oh, okay, but that's why this is nasty. Holy shit. Oh. I'm tied. Oh. I'm tied and have less kills than people who aren't doing cheating. Alright, never mind, I like losing. So it's not even entirely why. That that's sounds like pain. And suffering. It's, it's just an option. Alright, it's definitely obvious. Just a touch. What do you mean? That I can't do it, it's a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> well, no one thinks I'm cheating so far. Bit of fair balance gameplay. <laughs> Look at the kill feed! <laughs> Similar to... The image, it will just shoot it. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Is that <laughs> oh, Whoa, whoa! <laughs> He's flying! <laughs> Who's flying? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, whoa. He's flying. flying, that's not allowed! <laughs> yeah, you have to be modest with your cheats. Just blatant aimbot, but flying around the map, that's just not natural. <laughs> that's, just not as, that's just not as God intended. That's just not how movement's supposed to work. Unless you have good game.